This is Game of Inches. Six teams of anglers across the ice belt compete for five days for a grand prize of $6,000. Eligible species are narrowed down to seven categories of freshwater fish. The total combined length of the seven fish is their final score. Each team records their longest fish in each category. Who will take home the $6,000 at the end of day five? Like I got, had this fish right to the hole, right away, and I was like, what's going on? Day four, woke up at 4.30, made coffee, drank coffee, woke up a bit. And we are in my lodge today and for the rest of the tournament, we're at Diefenbaker. We are gonna crush it today. We are going for whitefish today. We are just basically fishing for whitefish till we, till we catch a whitefish. All day. Just gonna do a little walk through here. This is our basement rental. We just got the lodge running about two weeks ago. We took possession of it. So we're still in the process of putting it together. The lakefront walkout suite. And I'll do some videotaping on the back end of it after, but uh, this is on Koto Bay, Lake Diefenbaker. In one room here, we're going to have three single beds for the kids, or the bad adults, and then we'll have our king bed in here, so. Guys, we got to our spot. We have about five minutes to set up. A little bit panicky to get these two fish, a bigger bourbon and a bigger white fish here. So we're probably just going to put GoPros on our heads and then like whole hop. So we'll get this done here. Do you want your deadline there? I don't know. I just drilled a hole there. I'll put it up deeper. Yeah, sure. Maybe anywhere you want. Anywhere you want, Sean. We got a fly. And then just a chunk of meat on ground. We'll try that. Uh, did, you, did we bring any of those minnows from yesterday? I got minnows. Okay, I brought minnows, but they're frozen. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I got a little whitefish. I'm gonna bring them into the shack and measure them. That's a good starter fish. It's small and there's seems like there's a lot of fish down there. You see, I just felt them pick it off the bottom there. Flappy flap. We got, oh, small one. Head to the tip. Slow down. 16.25 Head is on 16.25 We're gonna catch a bigger one. Let that guy go Oh, yeah, yeah Marking lots of fish here um, crushing Sean out there, but Sean caught that lake trout, so that's good for the whole tournament. That was a freaking amazing lake trout. And, uh, Clayton and the boys don't know what they're doing, but, like, they probably got a big pike and stuff. Don't know if we need to be worried about them. It's just Aaron kid that pulled in the lead. Oh, here's a fish on me. Oh, that's a big one.
Why aren't they taking this fly? Maybe I should put a something else on. Hooked up, guys. Big fish. Big fish. Missed the hook set. My GoPro is off. Adam's coming. Just taking my time with this fish because whitefish have big mouths or soft mouths. Adam's coming. This fish hit two uh, two feet underneath the ice. But it's, it's a nice whitefish, I think. Take my hole out of it. He hit twice. Oh, I don't know. There's a bunch of them down there. Adam, Adam, recording. Whites? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's a nice one, a nice one. There it is. Nice, chunky white. I marked him two, three feet underneath the ice, and he hit once. I missed him. Might be a pot of him and got another one. All right, let's go measure this up. Close, mouth closed, 19.75. Perfect. 19.75 inch whitefish. Guess what we're doing with this fish? That's our release hole right there. Forgot to say, I don't know, today I got the smoke show. Smoke show. It is 37 inch medium light. I have a Shimano Altegra 1000 series reel. And if you're fishing deep water, you want to use a little bit of braid and then just have like six feet of six pound or eight pound monofilament leader and tied straight to the hook. So that's uh, pretty simple. Working too hard. I'm working too hard for a whitefish. That was uh oh, I'm working for that burbot. It's under these cameras are annoying having to uh oh there's a whitefish. There's two. Always going right for yours. Why does he want that piece of bait? I don't know. They've been doing this all day. Time up and pick it up. He's like going to that one piece all the time, hey. Come to my piece. Things are things are good over here. He's like ignored me. It's a big one, hey? So. Fighting good. It's not a small one. Good. We're using a 39 medium light. Yeah. Drench. I got the smoke show on. Just absorbs all that. Here he comes. Absorbs all that. Here he oh, comes. Shoot. He's yeah. in. Oh, it's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Hopefully we got an upgrade here. Just punch him up and quickly see. Yeah, no, this one's gonna go 19. You wanted to keep two, Sean? Yep, okay. 
Sean wants some white fish. Flappy happy. Add it to the pile. White fish are very high in omega. Omega. Keep you healthy. Yeah. Well, we've decided uh, we're gonna, instead of upgrading the whitefish now, we're gonna take off and try to upgrade our pike because the pike we're feeding at about 11, so. Yep, so we're gonna get out of here. Next time you see us, we'll be flag fishing. I love it. Guys, we are back fishing. We went back to the lodge, had lunch, and regrouped. We are actually not gonna be fishing for pike now. We are going for an upgraded burbot, another white fish spot. Adam's gonna be in the shack maybe, uh, some fishing whites. Uh, and then we're gonna try for some big walleye. So, it's windy. We're gonna try and keep the wind noise as best we can. And, uh, Hopefully we smash a big burbot here. Right, we got our jigging jaw jacker set up. I forgot to show what it's on. It's just a jigging minnow. And I use the depth finder to bring it about a centimeter off bottom. And there at the bottom, it's a centimeter off bottom now. And when it pops, just jigging that jigging minnow real close to the bottom. So we're just looking for a burbot. Get get its attention. Oh, that look rough. Sunburnt and tired and wait till you see what I got going here. We are back for burbot and walleye whitefish i'm doing a sight hole today pretty sweet we're sitting at about seven feet of water here so we can see the fish come in we're on de deteriorating ice here it's gonna be it was plus 15 or 10 down here and it melted Lots of ice by the shoreline, so Let's see if we can get something to come in here. Just starting, we got lots of time tonight. See what comes in. Um I'm coming. Sean is on. I gotta block the wind here. Line was tight. Maybe an upgrade. Yeah, hopefully it's bigger than 28. It didn't look very big, but we'll see. No. Just a little gaffer. Yeah, and it definitely is the 28. But oh, put that in the video. Good start to the day. Get the hook out and get this one back. What are you doing? Oh, what's going on, Sean? What are we doing? I'm trying to catch a bigger whitefish on a tantrum. So we'll see if that works. Sean's been marking some fish, hasn't been able to catch them. Just like last night. Yeah. But that's okay. I got we... the whitefish this morning. We have decided to chill. We got burbot lines out for an upgraded burbot. And we are trying to upgrade a whitefish. Nice ling, huge ling. Adam! And I'm sight fishing. I got a huge ling on. 
Nice thing, it's gotta be an upgrade. Come on. Uh, stuck on the ice. Ah. Oh. Might be an upgrade. Look bigger. Slimer. Top and bottom with the tantrum. To get a length on him. He's long and skinny, he might go. Okay, let's check this burb out. It has been slow today, but we've got two burbot. Oh, wow, close. 26, probably go 26 and a quarter there. Just can't seem to find that big burbot, but the night's young. We have a couple more hours left. All right, let's let this burbot go in my sight hole. Guys, we are having a lull today. We just caught two burbot this afternoon. And of course, they're both under 28 inches. So we're waiting for this walleye bite and it hasn't started yet. We're trying to upgrade our walleye here. So hopefully next time we turn the GoPro on, we're fighting a big, big walleye. Guys, finally got a walleye. I'm keeping the GoPro out of the wind. I had to move my chair. It's windy out here, but the night bite is starting. Num, 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 num. And we have 45 minutes till we have to check in, so we are gonna try and hammer some fish. It's slower today than yesterday, but we're gonna make it happen. And that fish is going on the frying pan. Jiggy Jack just went off. I don't know what it was. Hopefully it was a 28, 30 inch walleye. Okay, see if she goes off again. Who's calling me? Team Frostbite checking in. That's what we got. There's Dave over there on his snowmobile. Here's That's mine. Long. So they're struggling too, just like Sunset. we are today. Okay. Uh, Andrew Walker, which is... Cast and Conquer checking in. Cast and Conquer. And uh, we had a pretty good day. We're just driving out of the woods right now. We got the boys sitting on each other. One day to go. That's good. Got big things coming tomorrow. Yeah, Clayton, Aaron, Jay still have to check in, plus we do. We have 16 minutes left. I caught that small one, Jiggy Jacker went off, and I just marked another fish, so hopefully we can get one more here. On. Oh, he bit me. Oh, he bit me, came in and just rashed me, wrapped me. I was looking at Jiggy Jack, and I looked over and I see a mark on my sonar. And he just touched me. I love you, fishy. I want to put you in the frying pan. <laughs> 